Uh, we move on to Britt Baker bringing out the Owen Hart belt, cutting a promo on her match with Ruby that's going to happen later. So let's just go ahead and talk about that match. Um, Ruby Soho taking on Britt Baker. We're going to have some divided opinions on this one, too. I like both wrestlers a lot. Britt is hurting in the ring right now. I'm not saying that to say that she sucks. I don't think that. I think it's just very clear that whatever nagging issue she's got, they're still there, at least in some way. And she probably needs to just take a good long break. What do you think, Kelson? I want to break a little bit from the norm, and I, I want to make a political statement. For those of you that are not from the United States, I want to talk about the sad state of the United States education system and that a lot of students go to university or colleges, as we call them in the United States, and they spend a tremendous amount of money to get a degree that they will never use. And then some of them actually get degrees that they do use. For example, let's look at Dr. Britt Baker, who went to university for eight years to become a doctor, a dentist, DMD. And with all that education, she is still a freaking moron who can't understand that there are three outcasts and she's there by herself. It was a stupid match. Britt Baker is hurting. Um, and she does not suck. I love Britt Baker. She does. She's always been a, one of my favorites, either favorite to like, favorite to hate. But, you know... I'm just going to have to blame Tony Khan on this one because when it comes to women, he treats the baby faces like an idiot and eight years of education didn't prove squat for Britt Baker in this. Occasion. Well, who would you Britt have brought out with her? That would be my question. Jamie haters well, injured and rebels not on TV. So who would you have want have wanted Britt to come out with? Cause the other, I, the rest of the roster hates her guts in cafe. Sky, Sky blue is in the back. Uh, and she would have benefited from being out there. Uh, if she, if Sky Blue hates Britt Baker, then she would want Britt Baker to win so that she could beat the snot out of Britt Baker next week or whenever they're going to go. Uh, now she's going to be going out there by herself next week against three. And then whoever wins that, I mean, come on. I mean, We've been talking about this. When were the outcasts formed? Four months ago? Three months ago? Whatever just, it was. Yeah. It's the same thing over and over again. I don't understand. Now, I understand that, you know, I'm not the smartest human being in the world, and probably a lot of wrestling fans are smarter than I am, especially Shane because he professes it all the time. <laughs> I'm kidding, Shane. But anyway... <laughs> What I'm saying is, is that nobody appreciates being called an idiot. And that's exactly what AEW and Tony Khan and all the women that are agreeing to do this are calling wrestling fans. They're calling wrestling fans idiots. Because I'm sorry if you had a two-year-old and watched four episodes, just the, just the matches between... Uh, the outcast and whomever they're in the ring with, that two-year-old is going to say, Mommy, Daddy, why is that woman always going out there by herself and getting the snot beating out of her, beat out of her by three different women? I'll I don't know, son, you know, you know, because they're idiots. We're all idiots. We're wrestling fans. I'll say this. I, 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 I've been on <laughs> that page with you. I, nobody has been as loud a critic other than you of that whole dynamic than me for the exact same reasons that you've pointed out. I think this specific instance is okay because it's Britt Baker. It makes sense in the storyline world. And I think we probably would be able to accept it a little more if we hadn't been, if there hadn't been all these other stupid reasons for doing it. So. You know what? I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Kelson, I, uh, you know, for the first time this evening, I agree with you completely. Two words, Mike drop. I'm a mass max caster finishing move. Way to go, bud. I'm, the, it's stupid. Quit run that program back, man. Do something different. Uh, Caleb, what you got? I agree. Um, the faces not coming out with anybody is beyond stupid. 
if they keep the outcast versus the originals feud going at this point, it's completely forced. This is one of those ones that they need to completely forget about. Um, about the match itself, unfortunately, it was kind of a snoozer. Um, Britt's definitely hurting. I'm not a big Ruby fan either. So it, w- it was really hard to watch. Uh, I, I hope Sky Blue goes over next week because if not, I'm going to be absolutely infuriated with Tony Khan's decision making. Caleb, what are you going to do when Eddie Kingston comes out with his open weight title and Ruby Soho comes out with her Owen Hart belt and they're like a faction now? That's just going to be you're going to be your hate machine faction, isn't it? That that, that nightmare fuel start it with all access, and if <laughs> I see it on TV, like on Dynamite Rampage Collision. I'm going to have constant nightmares of Eddie Kingston and Ruby Soho suplexing me in my dreams. <laughs> Rollins, what did you think of Ruby Soho and Britt Baker? Yeah, I knew what was going to happen. The outcasts were going to get involved. Yada, da, da, da. Um, I'm just as big of a Britt Baker fan as you are, Shane. Um, when you. When Dynamite was here in Cleveland last year, I was going hard for Britt in her match. Um, So, yeah, but the women's division is booked, I would say, worse than the tag team division or the trios division because at least you get some stories in the tag team division and the trios divisions. And I use the term stories loosely. There's no stories in the women's division at all. Chris Statlander doesn't have a feud. Um, Tony Storm, the women's champion, no feud. It's just like, what are we doing with the women's division? Uh, I don't know, Sleazy. What, what are we doing with the women's division? Um... Well, we're just mainly focusing on the outcast, which is incredibly broken, which I do have a way of fixing that. Fantasy Fan Coffee this Saturday on AEW Fan Hub. Don't miss it, baby. But uh, the the match was fine. You know, it made, it made sense. Um, I feel bad for Brick because, you know, as a, as a pitch burger, you know, it, it always hurts for your home guys to lose. But something for me to complain about more than the women's division, because we've already done that. You know what we should be complaining about? Why the Owen Hart Cup has is has a belt? It, it's just it's just so stupid. Okay, it's called the Owen Hart Cup. We don't need a belt. The belt added on to our overflow of belts from last year. We do not need another one of those belt overflows. We just we just need a cup. Okay, that that that's all. That's all. There is a cup as well. I, I do think the belt is a little overkill. Um, I just want to name some of the names that exist on this women's roster right now. Even some are injured, but let's just do the thought exercise. Jamie Hayter, Hikaru Shida, Tony Storm, Ruby Soho. Um, I could keep going. Like, there's Riho. Like... The top of the card, talent-wise, in AEW, is better than anything else there is. Save maybe Impact right now, because Impact is coming on strong. And I'm going to tell you, I'd much rather watch Deanna Pirazzo fight Trinity right now than whatever they've got going on in AEW. And I, I don't really watch a lot of Impact, but I'm starting to pay more attention now, because I am just about had it with these women that are supremely talented being booked like total garbage. And... I'm, that's no disrespect to Tony Storm. She's a worthy champion, and she's going to defend that belt in great matches. But there's no the, the Outcast story. The Outcasts have won at this point. They took out Hater. They've got the world title. Ruby's dancing in the Owen Hart tournament. The Outcasts are are on top. So as far as any juice of what like what, I I don't like I don't I don't want to hear them complaining. They've won. Where's where's the counteroffensive? Where are that where are the homegrowns? 
Maybe Sky Blue is going to lead the front on that. And if she learns how to cut a promo, I'm for it. Um, But holy crap, guys. What are we doing? Like I, what Tony Khan from the moment this company has started has had absolutely no idea how to book the women's division. And it only worked when Britt Baker was the champion because Britt carried it on the weight of her charisma and her ability to generate interest and feuds that really nobody else would have given a crap about, which is unfortunate because the people involved in those feuds were amazing for the most part. So before we end the show and grade it, does anybody want to else want to chime in on the sorry state of the women's division right now? Shane, I think you're, you're wanting to get in here. Make it really quick. AEW's women's division is the WNBA of professional wrestling. I'm sorry, not sorry. Get your crap together, Tony Khan. These women are more talented and deserve better than what you've given them in creative. Either you're going to hire outwardly or you're going to let them book their own shit. Get it together, bud.